Hey y'all, it's the one and only Brooklyn Big Baby, and I am back with Motivational Mondays. Well, it's not really a motivation at all. It's more of a, I'm about to review what Rolling Loud looked like this weekend. You guys already know the vibe, how I give it up. So let's start with the one and only Mrs. Chromas. What, what bitch? Shout out to Worldwide Entertainment TV in Toronto and a big shout out to Brooklyn because you're doing your thing, bitch. We're Brooklyn, we're Brooklyn, we're Brooklyn, we're Brooklyn. So let's start with the one and only Mrs. Chromas who decided she wanted to be on Rolling Loud and your ass got booed. Boo! Stupid. You nah, it didn't. Um, you talking about your Toronto's first lady? Clearly, you're not because if you were, they would have gave you more props than you got. Jesus, Jesus. Um, you got bottles thrown at you, you got booze thrown at you, and um, you thought we were filling you? This bitch is a munch. So at the end of the day, Toronto ate you for lunch, dinner, breakfast, brunch, all of that. Um, this is what I'm talking about when I talk about the talentless females that are in the city. She's one of them. And you guys, a lot of bloggers been giving her her props. Why? So to the dirty, dirty bloggers, them. How do you guys feel right now for the ones that were promoting this, this trash bag from 19? How long? How do you guys feel right now? You understand for the clicks and the likes and debates and when people were in the comments saying that she's trash, niggas were talking about, oh, uh, bitches are just hating because they're mad. Hating on what? What? She's pretty, yes, but that's all. The girl, there's actually females out here that are actually fucking talented. And I'm sorry, Rolling Loud, but you guys used, you guys really did not utilize her slot properly. You guys should have gave that slot to somebody else because it wasn't, it, it's giving, begging to be something she's really fucking not, which is a rapper. And you're not a rapper. You need to sit your ass down and go lay down somewhere. Go open up your legs. Do something. Do what you know what you're, do, you're, you're good at, which is OnlyFans and all that type of shit. Coming into our culture and, and, and trying to... People who's like, yo, that is good and I'm going to give a fuck. No, honey, no. Let me. She don't have nobody beating her though. Let me adjust my seat. Cause I would have. You know who's beating her? I'm gonna beat her. I'm gonna beat her at her own game. I'm gonna beat her own game. Wait. When she was talking about that. I need to be here for that. No, when she was talking about. I don't know how to market. Oh, she wants oh, three she racks. Oh, she knows exactly. She wants three she racks doing. to come and sit on my couch. First, I'm three. Hold on, tell that's them something. Three, that's you free marketing, and I didn't. And I didn't even have to say three, three racks. Yeah, coming into our 
culture and trying to take it over and saying nigga this and nigga that. First off, you should have got a punch in your fucking mouth for the first nigga that came out of your mouth. That's what it should have fucking happened. Number two, we should have we should have canceled your ass when the tampon was sticking out of your pussy. That should have been number two. Number three, we should have canceled you again when you try to get at our homeboy academics. Who, if anybody knows in the blogging world, he's the number one blogger when it comes to certain shit. So if he solidifies you, then you know you're certified. You're certain in these streets and and chromas you didn't play that card right baby baby yeah i ever heard of this chick named Chroma, chromas man basically it, let me give you out a rundown there's this chick out of toronto she claimed she was toronto first lady toronto's cardi b bro she couldn't rap worth a lick you know what i mean um but of course these days if you're a female it ain't really about rapping it's about to kill you galvanize an audience to fuck with your music okay cool like you know what i mean she's doing the ratchet shit a lot of people will kind of flock to her. Yo, me and Six Buzz, we actually talked about, like, yo, let's sign her, you know what I mean, to some management situation and try to see if we can get this chick to pop off. It could be lucrative. Anyway, basically, this chick was short-sighted, but, but I'm not that surprised. She's a woman who, you know, while coming up through the ranks in her country of Toronto, well, not Toronto, pause, in her country of Canada and the city of Toronto, she essentially um, came up by doing Crow Messies. If you don't know what a Crow Messi is, she was given foot jobs to random niggas okay so that's been her job she's been working a spa we're trying to get her lit she had some buzz whatever the case is that's the point i'm just trying to tell you okay and by the way i said i really said all that to, sh to show this really you feel me because all that toronto first lady shit i told you the moment you crossed Big Act, your career was done essential to the gulag but i thought it was only in the united states a little loud i said well, y'all call her the first lady. She got to be going crazy, right? Hmm. Wrong. Nigga, watch this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, man. Already. That's one of the things. Yo, let me tell you about. Yo, all y'all little artists. Yo, I'm Big Act. I don't need none of y'all. I'm I'm super rich without y'all. I don't need none of y'all. So it's not like I'm trying to help y'all to make money. I'm good. If I help y'all and it benefits me, I can make more money, but I'm good. I don't need none of y'all. But I'm gonna give y'all some free game. You see, somebody like Chromas, another reason why I wanted to manage her, you gotta get some of them ratchet ways out of her. She got a lot of ways and mannerisms that doesn't really equate to money. Like, let's keep it real. Not everybody can rap. That's how it goes. Like, I don't understand. Holler at me. Because your dressing, the way you look, the way you sound is just off to me. And, you know, at the end of the day, I just believe that now everybody sees what we've been talking about, what I've been talking about for years, that she's talentless and she's not a great rapper at all. And you guys need to stop giving this bitch her props because at the end of the day, she does not deserve it. She's not good at all. And she's trash. Everything about her is trash. Her chain says first lady when you when i go around with my chain back of my chain says queen of the six queen of the six is a wave i it, it's a brand i trademarked it it's my brand hey y'all it's the one and only brooklyn big baby and i am here with brooklyn's tea talk you already know the vibe you know how we give it up over here on worldwide entertainment tv with the hottest topics with the gossip with the plug we the plug baby so make sure you stay tuned subscribe you know click the link in the bio you already know follow us on instagram follow us on tiktok follow us on twitter because when you want to know what's up we got it stuck you heard me